Purple Leaf. Today, we're gonna be working on taking our level one tricks and putting them together in combos. I'm Junior Master Sensei Chris Conover, and let's get started. So, for our first combo, we're gonna start off with our pop round kick. This is a level one move, so make sure you have your level one tricks down before we start this video. All right, let's get started and let's review how to do our pop round kicks. Back up, make sure you have some space. We're gonna start in our backside stance, guards up towards your target. So a pop, who remembers what that means? That's right, it's jump off of two feet. So we're gonna be doing a pop 180 round kick into our reverse hook kick. So let's do that step by step, okay? So everybody show me pop round kick, one, Okay, and then we want to freeze right here. We want to try to land with our kicking leg turning backwards so that way we're ready to turn our shoulders and we're ready for that reverse hook kick. Okay, so let's try that again. So let's see pop round kick and land in the preset. Okay, then we can turn and look and then we can throw that hook kick. So in this first tricking combo that you're learning, this is just the first two moves. There's a kick after it, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice the first two tricks and then the last two tricks, and then we're gonna bring them all together for the full trick combo. So the last trick is tornado kick, so we're gonna work on going from our hook kick to our tornado kick down. So I'm gonna turn around so that way you guys can do this with me. All right, Cyber Sensei Banner is gonna be my target. Okay, so for our hook kick, remember we're starting front side. So the first step, preset, turn and look. Then we can throw that hook kick. And we want to go all the way back around so that way we land in our front side stance again. Because if we're going to tor into our tornado kick, tornado kick starts front side. So we want to make sure we kick and then we end where our tornado kick's ready to start. So our next will be that hook kick. We land it behind us. Then we start that tornado kick. So preset, turn and look, pick up your knee, jump switch, round kick. All right, let's speed that up a little bit. Okay, ready, hook kick, tornado kick. Awesome, then you can land the tornado kick however you want because that's the end of our combo. So now let's add the pop round kick. So all together, it's gonna be pop round, hook, tornado. It'll look something like this. All right, now let's break it down and make sure you guys have it totally awesome. So I'm gonna turn around to you, uh, so you guys can do it with me. We wanna make sure we're starting in our backside stance, guards towards our target. Let's start with that pop round, preset. That's super important, okay? Then we turn and look. You can throw that hook kick, come all the way around so that way we're ready for that tornado kick. All right, a couple more times, so. All right, ready, pop round kick. Preset, turn and look, hook kick, right into tornado kick. All right, so now you guys are gonna do it fast three times. So I'm gonna do the first one with you, and then the second two are gonna be on your own. So you guys ready? All right, guards up. One. All right, next two are on your own, ready? Two. All right, last one and three. Good, so make sure on all these kick and tricking combos, we wanna make sure we have our toes nice and pointed. We're kicking as high as we can. We're chambering, rechambering the kicks that we need to do that with to make sure that our trick combo is as clean as possible. So now, since we're doing level one tricking combos, I need to make sure that you guys understand how tricking combos actually work. So. We wanna make sure that we're always kicking towards our target. You guys know that part. But when we're kicking towards our target, we don't want to be moving towards the front, okay? We wanna be moving across. So if you guys are my target, and I'm doing my tricking combo, pop round, I'm kicking towards the front, hook kick towards the front, tornado kick, and if you notice, I'm moving straight across. So that is super important in all of your tricking combos. Now, let's get started and do the next tricking combo. So the next one, we're gonna start with our one-handed cartwheel. So let's review our one-handed cartwheel. So everybody back up. All right, real quick, let's just drill our normal cartwheel a couple times. So we're gonna drill it three times. Ready? 
One. All right. Next two are on your own. Two. Good. And three. Awesome. All right. So now it's time to use that one hand. So if you want to keep your other hand in a guard or behind your back, that's totally up to you. I would say it's probably the best idea to keep it in the guard so it's in front of you if you need it. So let's back up. Make sure that's uh, the left hand that's going to be on the ground. I'm going to turn around so you guys can do it with me. Let's drill it a couple times. Okay. One hand cartwheel. Go. Awesome. All right. Next two are on your own. Ready? Two. Good. And three. Awesome. So now, out of our one-handed cartwheel, we're going to go right back into a pop. So our cartwheel comes down right, um, and then we're in our backside stance, and we're going to pop round kick. So it's going to be one-handed cartwheel right into that pop round kick. So fast, it's going to look something like this. All right, let's get started. So back up, make sure you have enough space. Show me that one-handed cartwheel. So now, I know that we're moving across, but we actually want to make sure that we're starting as close as we can to backside. So we should be going at a 45 degree angle. Because if we're doing a pop round kick and we end our one-handed cartwheel towards the front, then it's not really going to be a pop round kick. Okay? So we want to make sure we start as close to backside as possible. So we're going to go at a 45 on that one-handed cartwheel. So everybody show me that. Good. Then from here, we're going to jump off those two feet for a nice big um, pop 180 round kick. So we're going to do it three times. The first one, I'm going to do it with you. The next two, you guys are going to do on your own. So ready? One. All right. Two. Good. I want to see how high you guys can jump on that pop round kick. Make sure you're keeping your chest up so you don't fall over. Last one, best one. Three. Awesome. Okay, so now for our next trick combo, we're going to start with our Valdez. So this is basically just a one-handed cartwheel, but starting from our crab position. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do Valdez pop round just like how we did one-handed cartwheel pop round, and then we're gonna add a new kick after that. So let's practice our Valdez into a pop round kick. So now we wanna make sure that we end our Valdez in the right position. So I can't just, if you guys are my target, I can't start my Valdez here, because then I'll end this way, and my momentum's traveling towards the back when we wanna be kicking towards our target. So let's think about where we wanna start our Valdez. I'm thinking, we're going towards the 45 with our one-handed cartwheel. That's where we want to turn around and get in our uh, crab position. So once we're here, then we can kick over for our Valdez and we're in the right spot that we need to be for that pop round kick. So I want to see you guys do it three times. Valdez to pop round kick. Ready? One. Good. Try to get as much speed and power as you did with the normal one-handed cartwheel. Ready? Two. Good. Last time, best time. And three. Good. Okay, so now we're going to add our pop hook kick to that. So the full combo is going to be Valdez, pop round, pop hook. Here's what it looks like fast. All right, so let's just practice the pop round to the pop hook. Then we can add the Valdez at the beginning. So let's start in our backside stance. Make sure you're looking at your target. All right, everybody show me that pop round kick and then freeze. We actually don't want to land this one in a preset because we're not going to be um, turning and looking and picking up our knee or anything like that. We're going to be going into a pop hook kick. So we should do pop round kick. You're going to set it down and freeze. All right, ready? Pop round kick, freeze in our front side stance. Then from here, once both feet are on the ground, then we can pop hook kick. All right, let's just practice that three times. You guys ready? All right, one. Good, okay. Two. Okay, and three. Awesome. So 
So now, let's add it all together. So we're gonna be doing Valdez, pop round kick, pop hook kick. Ready? We're gonna do it three times. The first one I'm gonna do it with you. All right, ready? Get in that crap stance. And one. Good, all right. Step back and two. Good, last one, best one. Are you pointing your toes, you're jumping super high. And three. All right, so that's all of our tricking combos for our level one tricking combos. Let's go back and review all three of them. So the first one was a pop round hook tornado. So let's practice that three times fast. So I'm gonna turn around so you guys can do it with me. So remember, pop round, hook kick, tornado. All right, ready? One. All right, next two are on your own. Two. Good, and three. Awesome, so for trick combo number two, we're gonna do the one-handed cartwheel into our pop round kick. So again, three times, one-handed cartwheel into our pop round kick. So make sure you start at a 45, so that way we can still do the cartwheel moving across, but still kick towards our target. So, ready, one. All right, next two are on your own, two. Awesome, so now on this one, I wanna see how fast you can one hand a car wheel. And if you guys do it faster than I just did it, then I want you to comment down below and say that you did it faster than me. All right, last one, ready? Three. Awesome, all right, let's move on to our last trick combo for our level one tricking combo. So this one's gonna be our Valdez pop round kick, pop hook kick. So pretty similar to the second one. We're just gonna start in that crab position and then we're adding the pop hook kick. All right, you guys ready? Three times, I'm gonna do the first one with you. All right. One. Good, all right. Reset. And two. Good, I wanna see how fast you can get from that crab position and kick your legs over. That's the most important part of a Valdez is how fast you kick your legs. All right, last one, best one. Three. Awesome job, guys. This brings us to the end of the video. So, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and drop any questions you might have in the comment section. I'm Junior Master Sensei Chris Conover, and I'll see you in the next lesson.